You cannot, it is through the head. And that head, when an evil man laid hands on it and imparts evil thing upon that head, it swallows it, transfers it through the body, and escorts the person through life. Some people will suffer from the cradle to the grave because evil hands have been laid upon them. When people lay hands on the head, it's a way of connecting the message with the messenger. It's a way of connecting the gift with the gift giver. The blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was transmitted through the right hand of Jacob to the head of that child. And those of you who are Bible readers, you know that hands are laid in the Bible on the head for physical healing. The reverse is true. Hands can be laid on the person for sickness to enter into the life of the person. I had a friend, an evangelist, who laid hands on the woman to pray. As he lays hands on that woman, she noticed that something was crawling through the head into his hands. And the thing entered into his hands. And the thing began to go towards his heart. Meanwhile, the woman, she, he prayed for her, left the room. My friend said, Madam, come back, come back, come back. We have not finished the prayer, come back, come back. The woman came back inside. He said, Linda, he replaced the hand on her head. I was said, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center. And do you know what? The thing began to crawl, crawl off from his hand. Crawl back into that head. So that laying, the, the, the laying hands of hand on the head is an agent of communication. In the Bible, people, they lay hands on it to impart blessings. Hands can be laid on a person to impart curses as well. In the Bible, they lay hands on people to impart gifts, power, and authority. Reverse too can enter into the life of a person. In the Bible, they lay hands on people to send them out as ministers or to ordain them as ministers. The same thing that if we lay hands on hands can ordain you unto witchcraft, ordain you unto familiar spirit, and dedicate you to strange things you don't belong to. But then, when the laying out of hands is from your ancestors, it becomes a very serious matter. Because before some people would begin to now address the issue, the evil effect will have gone far. I prophesy once again, any problem that has gone far in the life of anyone, let the problem go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Let it roar like thunder. The most devastating evil laying of hands is when it is used to pronounce or to extend or to maximum, maximize the evil power in the ancestry. Sometimes all the child stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. They are using the hand to rub there by total strangers. It's an evil agenda. And as I sit down here, or watching us, you cannot say who touched your head as a baby. You cannot say who touched your head as a child. You even have no clue on the spiritual content of those saloons, the spiritual content of the owner of the saloons or you are making your hair, you have no clue. What are these ancestral powers? They are evil powers that are in charge of a family from generation to generation. They are powers assigned to family lineage to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They are powers assigned to monitor a family lineage their powers assigned to afflict a family. They represent the strong man against the family line. Strong line that is assigned against the family line. And central powers are the spirit behind collective family captivity. They are the powers assigned to execute punishment on cursed families. They are the powers assigned to discipline those violating a collective covenant. 
They are the power sponsoring repeated evil family history. Repeated evil family history. They are the powers claiming to be the spirit of the dead inside a particular family. They are bloodline demons. These powers can be transmitted so easily when somebody with an evil power lays those hands upon you from your family line. And this is a very, very serious matter. And if this has happened to a person, the person should not be surprised. This spiritual growth is becoming difficult. Don't be surprised when the person is becoming a dropout. Don't be surprised when the person becomes someone who is stagnant and frustrated. You need to first of all surrender your life to Jesus if you want to be free from these powers. You need to repent from all known sins. You need to wage war against these strange powers. You need to cancel the evil effect of evil laying on of hands upon your head. Many of us, before we got born again, evil hands have been laid upon that head. And we are struggling now to get out of it. That is the purpose of this closing meeting of this program. And it's a very, very serious matter. Like that where you are, I'd like you to bow down your head. Bow down your head to where you are. In case you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, wherever you are, because I want to help you while all eyes are closed. Just raise up your right hand and see what I'm going to say after you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. Who said that short prayer with me, Immediately we close, just find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that can keep any bondage in place in your life today. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Amen. Right there where you are. Lay your right hand upon your head. And begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Upon that head. Say I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. Begin to say it. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As many people as are here tonight, and you are ready to defeat your Goliath, I want you to rise up on your feet and sing these songs with fire and with power. Sing without any compromise. Sing violently and with power. Thank you, Jesus. Let somebody shout, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Ah, somebody that is tired of those problems, shout, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Say, it is the lost battle! It is the lost battle! It is not my battle! It is not my battle! The Lord will fight for me! The Lord will fight for me! And I shall hold my peace! Singing. Now I want you to have the, your, the clapping of your hands to it now. Are you ready? Say, it is the lost battle. It is the lost battle. It is the battle. It is the lost battle. It is the 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 it is the Holy Ghost. 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 It
Let your heart be sounding like thunder. Aha! Fire! 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 I want your heart. Oh, shake it, boom, boom, swing, shake it. Oh, boom, 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 get it, boom, boom, boom. I'm serving the Lord on fire. Oh, shake it, boom, boom, swing, shake it, boom, boom, swing. Oh, shake it, boom, boom, swing, shake it. Shake your body. Oh, boom, 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 get it, boom, boom, swing. Shake your head. I'm serving the Lord on fire. Oh, yes. Oh, shake it, boom, boom, swing. 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 session of prayers on the basis of what we have discussed here tonight. Next Sunday is our 25th year anniversary Thanksgiving service. Also the Thanksgiving service for the 70 days prayer and fasting program for this year. So it's a two in one service. Don't plan to complete but because we might have closed by the time you arrive. Praise the Lord. Rise to your feet with your oil now. And with that oil in your hand, stretch it towards the altar and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. This oil that is stretched to this altar by the spirit that moved upon the waters in the beginning. Move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. On anointing with this oil, let every consequence effect of any evil laying of hands 
vanish in the name of Jesus. Let this all become the oil of healing, the oil of deliverance, the oil of power, the oil of strength. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil on your hand and use it to rub your head. Use it to rub your head. That's right. Rub your head. Thank you, Jesus. Do it a second time. Something is happening already. Do it a third time. It's happening already. Yes, I told you. The heavy loads upon the head have been shifted away. Now with a voice that roars like thunder, you will now lay that under your head. Put the oil away now. Lay your right hand upon your head and pray the following prayers with all the violence you can gather. It is important that you pray them violently. If you keep quiet, it will be very sad. Glory killers! Assign to my head! Damn! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray arrows fired into my brain backfire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray it well arrows fired into my brain backfire 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 Backfire! Makashen Teraba. In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is going on now. The powers chanting incantations to cage my head. Da! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Makatesetela Kaya Boshenderaba Santa. Riba Pia Nikatendaka the Kayabo Shantara Basanda. In Jesus' name we pray. My head hear the word of the Lord. Shout his love. Reject curses. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and reject the curses. In Jesus' name we pray. Chains upon my head. Break in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. My glory and the lifter of my head, Jesus Christ, can you shout his love? My glory and the lifter of my head, Jesus, lift up my head. In the name of Jesus, my glory and the lift of my head, Jesus Christ, lift up my head. In Jesus' name we pray. Every bewitchment assigned against my head, die. In the name of Jesus, something is happening here. Deal with the bewitchment. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. 
every horn of my father's house pressing down my head roast in the name of Jesus every horn of my father's house Jesus in Jesus name we pray wasters and emptiers targeting my head you are a liar Duh! in the name of Jesus wasters and emptiers targeting my head yes in Jesus name we pray luggage of darkness on my head catch fire in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray say blood of Jesus can I hear you shouting it loud can you shout it loud arise wipe off every evil mark on my head in the name of Jesus Blood of Jesus arise. Bakatenda ya boshente raba. Rimo sapende ke ya boshente. In Jesus then we pray. Three more prayers on that head. Lay your hands on it and pray these three with merciless violence. Any negative oil upon my head dry up in the name of Jesus yes I mean negative oil upon my head dry up dry up dry up in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray anointing that will make my cup run over Fall upon my head in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus, then we pray. This is the final prayer. I see many things happening. I see destiny is being rearranged. Ancestral hands upon my head can you shout it loud can you shout that louder than that we die in the name of Jesus command the hand to wither in Jesus then we pray keep that hand on your head father I stand here as a servant and I decree that your angels will begin to go from person to person every virtue that has been stolen from the head that be restored in the name of Jesus as a result of tonight's meeting your life shall take a new dimension that will catapult your destiny 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 in the name of Jesus The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. 
and be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength. You go from glory to glory. The hand of Messiah will fight your battles. No weapon from against you shall prosper. All the prayer requests that O Lord answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship.